Hi everyone, it is Sunday and as promised, I said that I was going to attempt to do this cut crease with a blue eyeshadow and then gold. Um, never done this before, so y'all just bear with me and I do have a tube top on, so in case anybody's wondering, no, I'm not in a bra or anything like that. Um, I do got, I have a little tube top on because it is a little bit warm here um, today and I didn't want to get my makeup too messed up. Um, my face is already done as usual just so I can cut time down um, on the live and I don't keep y'all tied up for hours. Um, I did already put some primer on my eyes and everything like that. So, what I'm going to do is just get started. And let me see if I can. Uh, hi, Tara. Hope you're having a good day. I had to cut my light on so I could see a little bit. If y'all hear the TV, um, I'm watching the oxygen, you know, 24 hours of serial killer. So, um, the first color that I am going to dip into, and I'm actually going to make sure that the brush is clean so I don't end up with a hot mess like I did the other day. I'm just going into my cleaning towel, swirling it around, and uh, then just wiping off any excess. So this right here is an e.l.f. tool and it is an eye contour. And with me having hooded eyes, this could really be a hot mess. So um, the color that I'm gonna use first um, is a Saint color. And it is this top one right here. I'm just gonna go very light handed with it. Um, and uh, then I'm gonna go into my Huda Beauty Sapphire Obsessions and do the rest. And then for the gold, I'm actually gonna go into the Venus Fling palette that Bailey did and use um, that really pretty gold color that she has. So I am just dipping very lightly into that Da by D and I'm gonna go in circles above where my natural crease is. And then what I'll do is I'll go back in and blend it out. So, what's everybody getting into today? Hi, Robin. Hi, Mariah. Once again, I'm really not doing anything. Um, I've got to run to Ulta real quick. My order I placed last night's ready. Um, for one of the... I didn't have that hot pink color um, for that um, Suspice Challenge. So, I just ordered a hot pink from Ulta that's not very expensive at all and uh, gotta pick that up and some white eyeliner all right so and y'all can see with the hooded eye I did go way above where my natural crease is and for this, I'm just gonna grab another blush, another brush, and I'm just gonna kind of blend this out, soften it out some, so it's not quite so blue. Hey, 
Have y'all been watching the um, Oxygen 24 Hours of Serial Killers? That's all I've been watching is the 24 Hours of Serial Killers. All right. So, I think this will be good for now. I've got it kind of lightened and softened up a bit. And then I'm just going to do the same thing with the other eye. And just dip lightly into that blue. And just go in the circles to try and get that color deposited. And then I'll go back in and blend it all out. Hopefully this won't take forever in a day. Anybody have any exciting news? I know I'm super excited. I got picked up by um, a couple of sponsors. Um, one is a clothing line, um, sunglasses, and two jewelry companies. And then there's also a cosmetics line that wants to sponsor me as well. And I've already got my discount codes um, for the jewelry companies and uh, for the clothing company and one of the sunglasses. I love sunglasses, so I was like, hey, I'll take three sunglass sponsors. And then another great thing, I'd gotten an email and... I had entered this stylist um, makeup competition, and it was for not just amateurs. It was for pros, everybody. And I had, like, really forgotten that I had entered it. And I got an email the other day saying that I had placed in the top 50. And I was like, wow. I was like, that's pretty amazing. Um, you know, for worldwide contest and to end up in the top 50 i was pretty proud of myself i was in no fact you know expecting to place anywhere near that and like i said i had completely forgotten that i had even entered the dang thing now let me grab this and i'm just going to blend this out some And y'all, like I said, I have not done a cut crease before in my life. So y'all just kind of bear with me. And another reason why I did not do my eyebrows yet, because <laughs> they might be a mess. Or they would be a mess by now. I always save those for last anyways. Um... I know some people like to put them on first, um, but what you see is what you get um, <laughs> with me. Um, feel free to leave a comment um, if y'all like. Of course, I am kind of used to talking to myself um, when I'm doing like my YouTube videos and stuff like that. Um, I'm basically just, you know, talking to the camera. <laughs> Let's see. Hi, Carly. I don't want to mess up your name. Is it Dalmain? Hi, Dalmain. Hi, Belinda. Hey, Lisa. Hi, Robin. I think I've gotten everybody. Yes, and good morning to you as well. And I don't know y'all about y'all, but the struggle is real to get one eye to look the same as the other eye. Like, struggle is real. I can do it on other people, but 
when I'm doing it on myself. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm a lefty and I have to cross over like this and do it. Could be the problem. Um, I don't know for y'all that are in the States or even anybody that's not in the States um, about DMX's passing. Um, my cousin and I were talking about it last night and she was listening to his music for like two or three hours and she even had her, um, how old is Liv? Her 13 year old daughter listened to some of it as well, um, which I thought was pretty funny. Um, and then this morning when I was putting my face on, I, um, I've got some of his songs, albums downloaded on my phone. And so I, um, was listening to that as well. That just reminds me of like my teenage years and growing up and all that. I mean, I just feel awful. I mean, he has so many demons that he was fighting and it's just a shame that, you know, he couldn't kick that addiction. Um, and it finally got him. It, you know, it finally got him. And I believe I read somewhere that he had 15 kids. Um, which is, that's so sad. I feel so bad for the kids and everything. Um, and I saw a thing on Facebook where they, um, hi Alexandra, they had a thing of, cause you know, I don't, well, I don't know if y'all know, but um, Aaliyah who passed away as well a few, quite a few years ago, her and DMX and Jet Li were in a movie together. Um, Romeo Must Die, I believe is the name of it. And there was a picture of Ali and DMX, and it says, um, like, I hope she's waiting for him with open arms, um, which was really sweet. My face is brown. Is it the lighting is causing it brown? I'm not sure exactly what you're trying to say. I do have my makeup on. Um, my face is on, so I'm not sure if that's what you're referring to or if it's the lighting that's making it brown. Um, if you could just clarify a little bit, Alexandra, I would appreciate it. Um, so now I'm going to go in with a deeper shade of blue, which is this is from the Huda Beauty um, Sapphire Obsessions palette, which I love. The colors are so vibrant and pretty. And I'm gonna go in with a deeper blue, which I think I'm gonna go in with this matte right here. And I'm just gonna kind of deepen that crease and uh, let's see how this goes. Like I said, um, hooded eyes struggle is real. And now I'm using my eyeshadow brush. And hi, Lisa. And I'm just going to kind of deepen that. And once again, I'm just going in. And doing the circles to get the color deposited. Hi, Tina. Thank y'all so much, everybody, for coming on with me this morning. Um, I had planned on doing it last night, but we had really bad thunderstorms here. And I was like, my luck is it's going, the power's going to go out. Something's going to happen. And then I'm going to be messed up. So I just kind of chilled and uh, comforted um, one of my dogs. She hates thunderstorms. And I am by no means claiming this is going to be perfect. Practice does make perfect. I do know that much.
and uh, once again, you know, just doing the circles to get it deposited. Well, Alexandra, I wish you would answer what is going on. Um, that way I can fix. Does my face look brown to anybody else? Is it my lighting? Can somebody please um, comment? That way I can try and get it fixed. Because it is, the sun's coming through, but the way my work area is, it's a little bit further back from my window. Okay. So I don't want to go too, too blue and be looking all crazy. Let me put just a little dot right there. I know I'm so ready to get my pool ready. My husband worked on it some the other day and uh, he's off tomorrow and Tuesday. So hopefully he's gonna get it up and running. Cause I'm telling you what, it is like my roses are blooming. It is crazy. Okay, now I'm going to go and do the other eye. And I did look at my diagram that I had in my phone <laughs> on how I was going to do this with blue eyeshadow. Because I'm more of a visual person. Of course, luckily I'm doing curbside at Ulta, so I don't have to go in anywhere. And be like, girl, what are you doing with blue eyeshadow on at 10 something, 11 o'clock in the morning? Actually, they don't open until 11, so. And if you have watched my videos before, um, hi, Courtney. Um, oh, rude. Okay, so she, I guess she was trying to be rude. You know, I've had a, another girl that was on um, one of my lives the other day, and uh, one of the admins had to jump on and um, say something um, to her, and I believe she got removed out of the group. I'm like, I don't know why everybody wants to jump on my lives and say, um, it was the last one that I did, and I was, um, hi from Australia, Kayla. Um, it was that I look that I did, and she was like, just stop. And I was like, what? I was like, I mean, I don't understand. I mean, Bailey is such a positive and amazing person. And I don't understand why people want to, you know, join these groups and then come on and try and uh, woman, you know, try and bring somebody down. I just, you know, I'm just like, whatever. I'm like, I don't know. Maybe they're jealous that they can't do what we can yeah people have nothing better to do and they're just trolls and uh, like I said maybe they're just jealous 
they're just, you know, that's why I talk. They're just jealous. Um, I grew up in the pageant world, so all this is like nothing new, you know, to me. And then I'm just going to blend this out. And I'm just going back and forth blending. But I find it goes quicker when I do my face makeup. And I'm in between like my summer and my winter shades. Which kind of sucks right now. Because if I put like, even my winter shade is dark. Um, hi, Nancy. Hope you're having a great day. Okay, so now, here comes the fun part, y'all. I am going to attempt to do this cut crease. So, I'm just going to take... Let me get that out of the way before. Okay. Hi, is it? Hi, Tanya. Hey, Tina. Y'all, thank you for jumping in. I appreciate it. Hi, Megan. And this right here is just the Il Maquillage um, Concealer. And I'm just going to put a little bit on... Each eye. I think I put a little bit more on the other eye. And then I'm actually going to use a brush and just, well, actually, let me get my flat brush. Y'all, I learned my lesson the other day. And this brush cleaning tile is a lifesaver because literally all you gotta do is just swatch your brush through it. And I'm not going all the way over because I am gonna do a darker blue in the corner. Which was a step I got all happy about doing the cut crease and then I forgot all about doing the darker blue that I'm going to do on the outer corner. And all I'm doing is just. I wish I could wear contacts because, y'all, it would make this so much easier. But I'm like Rachel from Friends, that episode where they were trying to get those eye drops and Monica had to sit on top of her. That's literally me. Like, I can't. I cannot do it. All right. Now, I'm going to take my pencil end of the eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go into this deep color right here and do the outer corner. Hi Valerie. Thank you for joining. And I don't know if y'all can kind of see what I'm 
doing right now with this darker blue color. But I think it's really going to make that gold pop. Hi, Esther. And like I said, this right here is a learning process and a learning curve for me because definitely never done this before. And I don't even know if this is even going to show up that good with my hooded eyes unless I take that gold, like, kind of way up. Sorry, y'all. I'm just trying to concentrate. Hi, Jillian. Hey, Janet. Hi, Jill. Oh, late getting here, girl. It is quite all right. I haven't missed too much. And I'm just pulling that darker color up just a little bit. Just so it can be seen. Hi, Sarah. Okay, y'all. Now for the fun part. I am so... This is the color that I'm going to use right here this gold right here and it is called soul and like i said it's from the bailey um collaboration with the state and i'm not sure if i'm gonna have to wet it or not um to get it to stick so first i'm just gonna go in with my hi connie how are you oh hi beautiful to you as well hon the first thing that I'm going to do is just dip it in and we're going to see how it sticks without me wetting it. Because some of these, you have to... You have to kind of dampen them to get that color to really pop. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. And I can't wait to see my husband's face when he wakes up. He's gonna be like, what in the world? And as y'all can see, I'm just kind of packing it on there. I love this palette so much. And I know this may not be what y'all call a full cut crease, but it's kind of like my own kind of version. Let me get my palette down where I can see oh and i got the tiktok leggings in y'all have y'all seen those leggings that are on tiktok where it's like supposed to make your booty look all big and the husbands are like freaking out because 
the wives are like, they're like, no, you're not going out in public with that, blah, 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 and all this. I got mine in, and let me tell you, they work. I had to try on a pair, and I was like, went to the mirror, and I was like, uh-oh. I was like, I'm liking these. But I have so many pairs of leggings. Like, I can't even fit them all in my drawer. I'm a legging fanatic, especially with the, you know, with the quarantine and all of that kind of nonsense. Like, I hardly ever put real clothes on. I'll put leggings on. And you know what I just thought about? This is really funny. This would have looked good for my cheerleader days. These were actually my school, um, high school colors. The kind of royal blue and the gold. Those were our school colors. This would have been really good when I was a cheerleader doing my eyes like this. Hi, Heather. So, what are y'all thinking so far? Where am I from? I actually grew up in the South. So, I was born in Sumter, South Carolina, and now I live in Georgia. Um, I'm like 10 minutes from the state line um, to South Carolina. Um, when my mother passed away, um, all of her family was up here, and so I moved here to be closer to my mom's family. And I know when I was um, traveling, um, when I went up north to New York back in 2019 to travel, everybody was like, not laughing at my accent. Like people were like, oh my gosh, they were like, well, we can tell you're not from around here because I do um, medical records as well, but I'm trying to like just do makeup and Instagram influencing and all of that as my full-time gig. And so they were like, oh my gosh, I'd go into a doctor's office and they're like, you're not from around here, are you? And I'm like, uh, no, that I am not. I'm like, I'm from way down south and then some people pick on me they're like you've got that country accent and i'm like every once in a while it comes out where it will get like real i call it country fried i'm like it'll get real country fried <sighs> i know i had um one girl the other day and um she had commented on my live and she was like, I love your accent. She was like, I don't even have one. But um, I think everybody has an accent. They just may not realize that they have one. Um, and I'm sure y'all are probably thinking, wow, this looks like a hot mess that is going on right now. But like I said, hey. It's just makeup, as Bailey says, it washes off. And I'm also doing the 50s challenge. So, I'm going to do the 50s challenge, and I'm also doing um, the suspicious challenges as well. So, I'm excited about that. I was Googling 50s hair, and if I hadn't cut five inches off of my hair like a month ago... It would have been a lot easier. And like I said, all I'm doing is just packing this gold on there. Hi, Gina. Oh, do you like it, Gina? Is it coming together? I know typically with a 
cut crease it's usually just like one color on the bottom or no color on the bottom but y'all know me being me I'm a rule breaker I think I may have to touch up that dark sapphire blue on this side though because the gold is kind of going into it and it's not looking uh, quite even now where did I put my pencil brush well I call it the pencil end of the brush I love it it makes it so much easier to do to get these you know corners and stuff and I tell you what if y'all can get y'all's hands you do this often because I have hooded eyes and hardly no eye space yeah, I know. And I didn't even realize that I had hooded eyes until, like, I saw people talking about hooded eyes and all of this. And so, I asked a question in one of the artist groups I'm in. And I'm like, do I have hooded eyes? And they were like, actually, you have kind of, like, partially hooded. They were like, because you can still see, like... Y'all can still see the color on my eye. But I've kind of, you know, oh, that gold is from Bailey's um, estate um, collab, Venice Fling. It is, there's like no fallout. All of the shades are like super pigmented. I'm actually going to use one of those colors for that purple um, Bailey um, challenge look. Okay. Oh, you can see a little eyelid space on yours, but not too much. You can have, I have seen where people have had surgery um, to get it um, taken care of. Um, but I'm not, I'm not for sure if insurance pays for it or not um and with me being in the healthcare field and dealing with insurance and everything like that y'all would think i'd know the answer to that question um i think if it interferes with like your eyesight then it will um insurance will pay for it but, um, Jillian, yeah, if you watch, like, um, YouTube videos and stuff like that, it will, um, show you, like, tips and tricks and, uh, all of those, um, good things for dealing with hooded eyes. I've learned a lot, um, a lot, a lot. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this dark blue and I'm going to put it partway underneath my eye. And this is another trick um, for hooded eyes. They say do not put a dark color all the way across your eye because it kind of makes it look smaller and more, um, I don't know if droopy is the right word, but it does make it look smaller. So they say to put like the dark color like halfway to open up your eye and then you can go in with like I like to go in with a lighter color and go from here and meet the dark color to kind of help open up the eye and I can just hear my husband picking on me right now Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to, like, you'll take a nude or a white liner on your bottom lash line. Yeah, that, um, they say that, like, especially if you put, like, a white in your waterline, it helps, um, 
to open it up um, as well. I'm just trying like really hard to not get that blue too far down to where I look like a clown. Cause then I never will hear the end of it. Never will hear the end of it. Actually, I can take this, grab some of this, and and it also helps if you will put like um like an illuminator, a highlight color um in the corner of your eye as well. I'm just gonna blend that out because I went a little bit too far down, but that's okay. And then I'm just gonna blend it into kind of blend it into that blue and soften it up some. I know I told my husband I want to get um, Juvederm um, for my lips, and he was like, you're not getting it right now. So, I don't know about where y'all from, but here, like, everywhere I've um, looked, which I go and get Botox and all that, um, but I know that um, it's, $600 a syringe for the Juvederm, like, lip and cheek filler. But I will end up um, getting it, and, like, I'm not shy about... Oh, you thought I was doing a Bailey look at first. <laughs> Let's see to go out shopping, she didn't like my eyes, and you keep worrying about what your husband said. Remind me how my mom was. She never said anything until I asked if she liked it. She said, well, it's different, LOL. Well, you know what? It's, as long as you like it and you feel comfortable in it, then that's all that matters. Oh, thank you, Connie. And then what I'm gonna do is just to kind of soften up this blue up here at the top. I am going to go in with, I think I'm going to go in with some of that gold color. Or actually, let me see. Let me look at my, I'm usually more prepared than this. Let me look at my illuminators and see. I've got so many different ones. I might go in with this one. It's called Goldie. And just get, and they say also just to get like that little bit. Oh, my mother, if she was alive, she would be having a field day with the eye looks and the makeup that I do. But she was a true Southern woman, you know. Don't leave the house without your makeup on. Um, she would even, even if she wasn't going anywhere, she would do her makeup just in case somebody stopped by the house. She was made up, she was dressed. I mean, yeah, so I kind of, you know, grew up with that southern well of course you know being in the south but that you know pageant child southern mentality and all i did up here on my eyebrows bless her heart i know exactly and you know in the south bless your heart can either it's usually a lot of people that aren't from the south will be like Oh, that's so sweet, but they really don't get that we're taking a dig at you. 
they really don't get that we're just like basically making fun of you without saying, <laughs> you know, we'll just, just leave it at bless your heart. I know I sent a picture to my cousin the other day of the red eye look that I did. And my cousin was like, I don't know if I'm feeling that or not. And I was like, it's okay. I'm like, I don't expect you to like everything that I do. She's, she does, she's really not into makeup um, like I am. Um, she didn't inherit the makeup gene from our moms and everything like that um she'll put like some mascara on and maybe a little bit of just a tad of a neutral color eyeshadow and she calls it a day and sometimes not even that just some chapstick and she's ready to rock out but i told her i was like i'm coming over and i'm gonna do a makeover on you and you're gonna love it well she may not love it but you know we get the point and i'm just trying to soften up this blue i don't know i'm just one of these i don't like harsh lines I don't know if anybody else is like that. I just do not. I know it can be the trend and stuff, but like through here, I'm just not a fan of those harsh lines. I don't know if y'all have ever seen that movie, August of Osage County. Me and my cousin always joke that that is like, that's our family. What type of brow product do I use? Um, I have not done my brows yet. But, or are you talking about um, when I was putting on up here? Because um, I typically use eyeshadow on my brows. And I will do those on camera um, for y'all. So, y'all can see how I do them. I, you know, I over plucked way back in the day. And so, they're, they're not near... I know now it's like, no, like, do you use a pomade or a pencil? Um, I use eyeshadow um, on my brows is what I use. Um, and they stay in place, and I'll show you um, exactly how I do them. Okay, so I'm just going to grab my spoolie really quick. And... Uh, and of course, you know, I have no mascara on or anything like that. Um, and you can also use contour. Um, if you have like a cream contour, um, you can use a contour as well. Um, I know a lot of my friends do the microblading, but I've read that they're so high maintenance. Um, and one of my friends, she just went and got hers, like, um, tinted because she'd gotten a microbladed last year. So, she had to go in for a touch-up with a tint. And it's like, you can't get them wet. You can't get make. You have to be careful about your makeup. And I'm like, that's just too much work for me. I'll stick to just doing what I'm doing. And I think it's like $800 to get your brows microbladed. Um... Your girlfriend dropped 600 Yeah, see, no. My husband wouldn't go for that one. And two, if I'm going to drop $600, i am going to get the lip filler. <laughs> That's just how I'm feeling. So, I'm just going to go in. And I've seen where some get their eyebrows tattooed on as well. But, you know, eyebrow are just changing all the time. I mean, in the 90s and like the 2000s, it was keep them thin, you know, and all that. And see, y'all see, that's, I just take a little bit of shadow and then just kind of 
brush through it. I start in the middle and then work my way back. That way you don't get that whole clump of eyeshadow in one spot. And then I was also in a car accident. My head went through the windshield when I was 15. So um, I have like a scar right in this one. Well, I don't necessarily, you plucked yours for years. My mom would pluck mine. My mom would pluck mine. Um, I've been wearing makeup since I was like two years old. Um, Cause I was in pageants from the time I was nine months until I was 14. Um, so I was laying in the tanning beds at 13. Of course, this is before all those, you know, laws and everything um came into effect and you have to be i think 16 now to lay in a tanning bed um but yeah i was 13 years old and my mom would put me in the tanning bed okay so super quick eyebrows are done they don't look crazy you know unnatural um at least i don't i am yes thank god times have changed um well i used to have a um what you want to call it i used to have a tanning membership and uh, but now since we've got the pool y'all i'm sorry i'm looking for my eyeshadow there it is. Um, not my eyeshadow, my mascara. Um, and I would literally lay in the tanning bed and then go home and lay out in the sun. But my mom, um, Cherokee, so I inherited her genes. So I don't burn. I get super dark. Um, that type of thing. Oh. Thank you, Jillian. I appreciate it. And I'm not doing lashes today. I'm just putting on this lash princess. Your mom's been having sunspots lasered off her skin because of all the sun damage. Yeah, see, I, when I, my husband gets on to me because when I lay in the pool, um, I don't use, I use like the oil, tanning oil with like zero SPF in it. And then he complains because then the pool looks oily. Um, and... When I was younger, I used to lay out in baby oil. Um, I do have like melasma and stuff on my forehead. Um, but I will, um, I will be putting sunscreen on my face this year. Um, and I also use, um, Retin-A, um, on my face and so my dermatologist said that the retin-a will help um fade the sunspots as well yes my mom did that when she was a teenager adding iodine to baby oil yes very familiar my mom did that when she was a teenager i never did that but my mother did yeah my mom did that And I have to say, I love this Lash Princess. Um, and it's super cheap. It's like $5 at Ulta. Yeah, that's how your mom sent. Yeah, I mean, I'm telling you, I'm all about... I'm all about being out in the sun. 24-7. Um... One of our dogs, Scarlet, I bought a cooler float, you know, that way I wouldn't have to get out the pool to make my drink, to go dripping in the house, blah, 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 all this. So we bought a float that holds your cooler. 
Well, my one of my dogs, Scarlet, has taken it over, and she gets in it, and she floats in it, and then she goes to sleep. She naps floating around in the pool next to me. It's the funniest thing ever. I'm like, I got to get another cooler float. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Skylar. Oh, yeah, the in ground. We have a really big above ground, and then my husband spent all last summer, bless his heart, um, even on his days off, days he had to go to work because um, he's on night shift. So, I mean, he would get up, and uh, he built this huge deck halfway around um our above ground pool um which i love and then we've got the two boxes up there that we keep our chemicals in and everything like that um now when i was growing up we had an in-ground pool um and we had a heated pool as well um so that was i mean i've always yeah, water is water. Yeah, and you know what? I mean, it's one of the nicer above-ground pools, so I'll get in there and do laps and uh, everything else. So, but yeah, he, he was a good man for building that deck the way that, that I wanted it to. Oh, y'all, well, this one isn't heated. Um, The one I had when I was growing up was heated. Um, My mom had my dad, my dad was a contractor, um, and so, my mom had my dad um, convert the pool into a heated pool. Um, and then, bless his heart, he was lighting the gas for the pool because my mom said the water was too cold. And it blew him. He didn't die or anything. It just, like, blew him up in the air. And his clothes went off. And, uh, yep. So... But my dad was 32 years older than my mom. So, by the time he had married my mom and I was born, he had already made um, all of his money. That's why my husband, I'm like, you don't realize how I grew up. I grew up not hearing no. So, I don't take no for an answer. I'll just keep on and on and on and on until I get my way. So, <laughs> oh, you're in West Virginia. So, we just swim in summer months. Girl, I could be in the pool right now if it was fixed. Um, tomorrow, it's going to be like 86. So, yep, I told him tomorrow he's going to finish cleaning out the pool. We're going to get it filled up. And, uh, yep, spoiled. Yes, I was very spoiled growing up. And he spoils me too. You know, he may whine and complain and everything like that. Um, but I eventually get my way. I, I do eventually get what I want, and I get my way. So, but I am not going to keep y'all all. Oh, let's see. It's beautiful here. We're starting to on opening ours. Yeah, my roses are, like, so beautiful that I planted um, when we moved into this house three and a half years ago. Um, that first spring, um, we planted rose bushes, and so it's... They're getting huge. I mean, they're so... I planted them for my dog that passed away as a memorial. He he was white, but he always wore a red collar. So, I planted white and red roses. Um, and then, he's got like a whole little memorial area. Um, so, but... Well, y'all, I'm not going to keep y'all any longer. I appreciate all of the chit-chat. Enjoy your day. And, yes, yeah, so this is my take on a cut crease with blue and gold eyeshadow. I'm going to close my eyes just so y'all can see it just a little bit better. And I will be seeing y'all soon and be keeping a lookout for those um, Bailey looks and the 50s challenge that I'm going to be doing. Y'all have a great day. Oh, my makeup is beautiful. Thank you so much. Bye, y'all.